Child advocates sounding the alarm tonight after learning about the arrest of a Shelby County Schools instructional supervisor for child pornography. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. Patrick Albano is charged with two counts of sexual exploitation of a minor. Police say they found images of children, both girls and boys, between 10 and 15 engaged in sex acts on his Google Drive account. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live in the studio now with tonight's top story. Brad? Katina and Richard Patrick Albano appeared today in court, and an SES spokesperson said he's on paid administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. The issue of child exploitation carries extra weight here in Shelby County, where advocates say twice as many children are sexually abused before the age of 18 compared to the national average. It's just really important that parents are talking with their children about who are you spending time with online. Educating parents and protecting kids is a passion for Chris Krim at the Memphis Child Advocacy Center. Since 2011, the center staff provided tens of thousands of parents with child sexual abuse prevention training. It helps adults recognize the signs of child sexual abuse, along with giving them tools to put in their toolbox uh, to keep children in the organization safe. The issue is at the forefront today as Shelby County Schools educator Patrick Albon who appeared in court on child pornography related charges. Police arrested a 30 year old after investigators said they found more than 100 images and videos of children between the ages of 10 and 15 in sexual acts on a Google subscribed account and IP address registered to Albano. In the online world, that could be through apps, uh, it could be through email, it could be through the online gaming community. Police arrested Albano after seven tips came into the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children's Cyber Tip Line. Callahan Walsh with the center recommends parents get on social media apps, have ongoing conversations with children about online safety, and set ground rules and stick to them. Talk to your children about um, making sure that their profiles are, are set to private, that they're not revealing too much information. Patrick Albano is due and back in court next Thursday. He is on in jail on a $150,000 bond. For helpful resources to parents and providers about keeping children safe online, log on to our website, localmemphis.com. Reporting live in the studio, Brian Broders, Local 24 News.